Okay, guys, let's get a little bit of a chat going about uh, budgets and cost of living and how we manage all that. So as you can see on the screen, this is a docket from our recent coal shop. Um, just to show you, we saved a total of $133.61 on this particular shop. Um, now, we use the flyby system and we also use Everyday Rewards, which is the Woolies one, but we definitely... Um, get the most out of our flyby system. Uh, we also pair that with the Coles credit card. So every dollar we spend on the Coles credit card, regardless of where it is, we receive um, one flyby point. And then when we shop at Coles Bunnings or part of that group, we receive double the flybys points. We've also just saved, uh, joined the, um, so you can see here actually the $10 off this shop. Um, sometimes we just keep it all together and have a free shop sometimes we just use the ten dollars off whatever we're sort of feeling like at the time it works out we get on flybys about a thousand dollars worth of free groceries a year so that is definitely worth using and then recently we've just sold signed up here you can see the coles plus discount uh saver discount so that costs us seven dollars a month to be part of the coles saver so coles plus saver club um, which saves you 10% of one shop every month. So um, we do one big shop every calendar month. We get as much meat, we fill the freezers, the cleaning products, all the expensive stuff, as much as we can. And the discount works up to $500. So this particular shop, $429. So we say $42.96 um, off that shop by spending $7 on the membership. Then the further $10 off for the flybys are just $2,000 points redeemed. And as you can see down the bottom, by being a flybys member and things we, and buying on special, we saved a total of $133.61 on a $400, nearly $500 shop. So it does definitely add up over the, the life, you know, over the year. Uh, and then on top of that, um, as I said, we use the Coles Rewards as well um, because there's not always a Woolies and a Coles. There's, or we do shop at Audi a lot as well. I wish Audi had a discount system. We'd be like on that like Flynn. But we do use the Woolies one as well because our car insurance is with Woolies uh, and then that also means we get a 10% off shop at Woolies as well. So then we try to do our second biggest shop of the month, maybe midway through the month, a top up at, at Woolies, and then we get the 10% off that one as well. So if that's another two to $300, that's another 20 to $30 per month that we're saving. Um, and then when you think that was one of the cheaper insurances for the ute, and then you're getting 20 to $30 a month in free groceries as well, um, that brings insurance on the ute back to half of what we paid for it pretty much. So that's a few of the little things that we do for cost of living and to try to keep bus life as affordable as we can. We definitely don't miss out on anything. We buy as much chips and rubbish and booze as everybody else, probably more sometimes. We don't buy soft drink. We have a soda stream. Um, we actually prefer that just to cut the sugar and things a little bit. Tom's pretty health conscious on sugar and things like that. But we buy chips, we buy chocolate, we buy steak, we buy seafood, we buy nice cheese like we're not missing out on anything um we eat a lot of fresh and healthy and not very much pre-packaged so that always costs more like I, I mean we probably spend 20 bucks a week just in broccolini really it's <laughs> it's a bit crazy but we do spend a lot on fresh produce which in a bus uh won't keep for very long so that stuff we do have to sort of get every week to 10 days but that once a month at Coles and once a month at Woolies, we try to do two big shops, save 10% off each. And over the course of the month, it's saving us, a, you know, $150, $200. So hope that helps. Hope that gives a little insight into some of our um, grocery bills in the budget. And uh, I'll keep you up to date when we do anything else. I'll um, keep posting these ones if you like.